Okay, what about the charities that you were doing in Scotland? And well, it was to help uh, homeless communities and people with uh, low income for food. Do you have more homeless people over there? Not so many. There's, I think there's a homeless problem in most countries in the world, but I don't think it's a major problem. Maybe in the bigger cities, but out with the major cities, very okay. little, if any at all. Okay. And were you doing it for fun or for the mankind? And what was your motive? No, it wasn't really for fun. It was for other people. It wasn't for our benefit. It was to benefit others, although it was enjoyable. And it was a great, I think we did it in two weeks. Okay. So there were three of us, so we were good friends. And obviously, your feet were sore after walking, I don't know how many miles in a day, <laughs> but we did it. Okay. It was good. Okay. Okay, hey guys, we have Mr. Kenneth William Trainer, and we call him Mr. Kenny. And this is Tabish Rafiq Siddiqui. And we call me Tabish. Welcome, Mr. Thank Kenneth. You. Thank you. And should I call you Kenny or Mr. Kenneth? Most people call me Kenny. And you're happy with that? Very, very. And how did you get this name, Kenny? It's a shortened version of Kenneth, which my mother and father called me. So it's quite a grown up name. So when I was in school, Jonathan became Johnny. Okay. And Robert became Rob mm -hmm. and Kenneth became Kenny. Kenny. Has it, like, you have been through so many countries and you have been to so many people and cultures. Mm. Has anybody tried to mess up with your name? Mm. Not so much. I'm, I'm sure most people get the pronunciation correct. But something happened with the trainer and trainer and uh, William? Yeah, the trainer's a bit more. Um, confusing for people because there are seven different ways to spell my family name. Okay. So that, that one would cause more of an issue than mine. Even I was confused. I had a friend, he moved uh, from Muscat to China yeah. and uh, his name was Kenneth. Yeah. And he used to name himself as Kenneth Teacher. So, <laughs> like people. People call themselves Mr. and Sir. Yeah, they, yeah. they pronounce themselves, I'm Sir Tabish or Sir yeah, Kenny, yeah. like that. He used to call himself Kenneth Teacher. So when I heard your name, Kenneth Trainer, I said, what? You think I'm copying this friend? <laughs> yes. <laughs> no. <laughs> it wasn't. It, no. It's your true family. family. Yes. Okay. Yeah. How about your family? How many members? How many people? Where are they? Mother and father are now deceased, sadly, and I have a younger sister. Okay. Many. I have many cousins and many cousins, children, second cousins, okay. like this. You, so your younger sister you've been talking about, I always thought that the way you share about her, yeah. it seemed that she is your older sister taking care of you. Well, I think she is. She does behave like an older sister. <laughs> and much to her regret, many of the people who know us think that she actually looks older. Oh and, my God. And strangers mistake her okay. by appearance, thinking she's my older Oh my sister, God. Oh which my God. is not a good thing for her. <laughs> <laughs> but, but she really, like uh, the way you communicate and the way you share about her and the things back in your country, yeah. it seems that she is very caring. Very. Very loving. Yeah, very caring, very loyal, very kind, very loving. Yeah, 100%. 100%. How about your mom? You lost yeah. her very yeah. recently. Yeah, that was a sad, sad oh thing. Of course. I lost my mom like just a couple of months back yeah, in Fab. No, I think uh, it's something that I'm still dealing with yes yes and that is the thing i believe that we will be dealing throughout our lives yeah it's not just one day it one won't month disappear one year. any no, day no it will be there to a lesser or greater degree yeah. on any given day I and i i think that this mobile and these uh, videos and photos has made it more difficult for her. like in the morning i received a video from yeah. a brother in which my mom is playing with her yeah. siblings 
like last year. Yes. And then I, I'm watching her alive doing yes. it. Yes. That was too I much. I think that's a difficult thing. That is a difficult thing. Like, yeah. Seeing somebody in photos is a little acceptable rather yeah, than. Yeah, because they're, they're not animated, they're, they're still. Yes, yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. How long have you been in Oman and um, Oman. Gulf? And, and uh, I've been in the Gulf for 23 years. Oh my God. So 13 in Kuwait and almost 10 in Oman. Oman. Yeah. And I heard that and I, I knew that. Like, yeah. And all these 10 years you have been 13 years in Oman? No, o Kuwait. Okay. And, and Oman? almost 10. 10 yeah. years in Oman. You drove only one car, same car for eight and a half years like yeah. that. How was that? It's okay, as you get familiar, it's comfortable. So why do I need to change it? <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know, when we see that uh, Top Gear show on BBC, mm -hmm. I always thought that generalizing, yeah. stereotyping, all Britishers are always uh, uh, like running for the cars. Yeah. They are always in love of the car. I think, again, it is, it is a bit of a generalization, and especially toward that program. Okay. Because most people, I think maybe 10% of the population, they, we call them petrol heads because okay. they are fascinated by all things vehicles, yes. whether it's motorcycle, car or yes. whatever. But most people, are, they're happy to have a reliable car. Okay. Yeah. And your reliability continued for eight years. And the brand was British brand, right? Yes, MG. Oh, good. Yeah, so good. It served me well. I was yes. happy with it. You were happy with that. Yeah. Okay. So we will continue. Yes, of course. I think this is the time like we should stop for now. Sure, okay? no problem. Okay. Please.